St. Nicholas Hospital is located in the heart of Islam, close to the university. It's a warm, friendly place. This place is fantastic. Uh, this, you know, St. Nicholas's. I mean, I just feel the staff warm, friendly when we walk in here. I'm, I feel I know them all very well now. I've been here three years. Well, there's a terrific atmosphere here, family atmosphere, and the staff are wonderful. At St. Nicholas, there's a lot going on for residents. <laughs> and being a hospital, I thought we'd just be in our beds. Mm. And, um, True. And the nurses would make us stay there. <laughs> yes, that's what we did yeah. worry whether, you know, being it's called a hospital, that, but we've learned and gained so much from being oh, here. Having yes. your mum has been fantastic mm. with all the other extra activities that they've managed. And mum, being quite able, is able to do a lot of them, which is neat, which is really good. Are there. Oh, it's, so it's fantastic. No, I really love it here. Mm. Residents choose how they spend their days, when they get up, whether they'll join in activities or entertainment. There's a lot to choose from. All the staff are just great, aren't yeah, they? Great. They just um, just by I think just by going and talking to him and. Um, the activities lady um, would go and sit and talk to him and they tried to find out what he was interested in. Yes, Mum's very keen gardener, because you are sometimes out there doing yes. potting, potting in the garden with John, aren't you? Mm. I teach people how to make jewellery and stuff like that, so I bring it here as well. Um, and we started okay. a couple of weeks ago actually and the ladies were stringing on some beads and things. In a couple of weeks we're going to be doing a little bit more complicated one, but we're going to crystals and that, so they're all looking forward to doing that as well, yeah. It was show. Yeah, the show, the crochet yeah, show the is show. fantastic. Yes. Yeah, but these are things mum wouldn't be doing otherwise with friends and that, really, I mean, That's you know, right. you know, it's a lot yeah, of fantastic. It's the yeah. first time I've been to the show. At St Nicholas, we have beautiful gardens, including a unique indoor garden and a lovely outlook to the local school grounds. With children playing, there's always something to watch. All the staff at St Nicholas really go the extra mile. With the staff down here, they're just so great. And Judith's daughter, mum and dad's um, youngest grandchild, she got married just recently and we wanted mum and dad to go there, to be at the wedding to see the youngest grandchild because I've seen all the other grandchildren. And they just went all out here so that we could get mum and dad there. They arranged taxis, to a wheelchair taxi. I came down here and we had to go way out to Tai Tap. We had a carer with us that went out um, and she also went back with mum and dad in the taxi. And that carer was absolutely brilliant looking after mum and dad at the wedding that everybody, and everybody got so excited. Mum and Dad were going to this wedding and they were all, all buzzing here, really, so. And that was your youngest grand, grandchild, wasn't it? The last one to get married. Yeah. It was the only thing I wanted. They looked fabulous, they really did. Yeah. Special days are celebrated. Balloons and... Yes, balloons and pictures and they gave me a lovely birthday card. Yeah, it was great, I took photos, it was, she, was made, she was, you know, made to feel very special. And the care from the wonderful, kind staff is second to none. There are a lot of people awake at night and if they are we offer them a cup of tea and a sandwich or whatever they would like and a chat and pass the time of day with them. Well, the reason why I do the show, um, I think is because of how much I love um, um, people and just thinking about these elderly people that have done their, their, um, their time and so I think it's but this is my time to get back to them and I know that one day somebody will do it for me and that's why I love doing this job. The last word goes to one of our residents. Now everybody is just so wonderful, so friendly and uh, it's 
just a great place. Booper, taking care of the lives in our hands.